Now, Pete's Extra Point. The most infamous post-game interview of all time still had some legs today. Well, I'm the best corner in the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. Don't you ever talk about me. Who is talking about you? Crabtree, don't you open your mouth about the best. Or you, I'm going to shut it for you real quick. L.O.B. Seattle defensive back Richard Sherman issued an apology yesterday saying, quote, I apologize for attacking an individual and taking away from my teammates. A lot of what I said was adrenaline talking, and some of that was Crabtree. I just don't like him, end quote. By the sounds of things, Sherman isn't sorry about what he said. Rather, he's sorry about the way he said it. A lot of people will tell you that Sherman is a thoughtful, smart Stanford grad who got caught up in the moment. I can accept that if... This was an isolated incident and out of character for Sherman, but it isn't. I am intelligent enough and capable enough to understand that you are ignorant, pompous, egotistical, cretin, and that's, that's really what it comes down to. And I'm going to crush you on here in front of everybody because I'm tired of hearing about it. It's the whole look at me culture right now of the NFL. How many times have you seen a receiver make a five yard catch for a first down and then celebrate like he just found out he's not the father on the Maury show? Andrew, you are not the father. <laughs> I'll admit, the art of sideline reporting is about as useful as a screen door on a submarine, but is what Sherman did on Sunday better than the old cliches of both teams play hard and I thank God routine? I certainly don't think so. Could you imagine if this kind of scenario took place in a real working environment? You forgot this in the studio, Pete. What? You're not a Bronco fan, you're a Vandal fan. Son? You're a mediocre sports guy at best. Legion of Big J. Gone are the days of Tony Dungy and Barry Sanders who coached and played every day as hard as they could and then went home. Now it's all about trash talk and Twitter wars and it's nothing to be proud of. That's tonight's Extra Point. More sports tomorrow morning on The Morning After with Nick and Big J on 100.3 The X. Back to you. That is a look you do not want to see. No. Anytime. No. no. It's not. No, it's not.